Arithmetic Review. In this review, we're going to look at addition, multiplication, subtraction, and division. When I teach a class, I tell my students, you can use your fingers, toes, dominoes, anything that's going to help you, except a calculator. So let's look at domino addition. This, you can also use your fingers, but this is actually how I add. So let's say we have 5 plus 4. I think of a domino, 5 plus 4. And the domino is kind of cool because if you look at it, it kind of looks like a 5. And this kind of looks like a 4. So what I do is I'll say 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 5 plus 4 is 9. Let's look at another one. 6 plus 4. Once again, I think about a domino. 6 plus 4. Here's my 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 6 plus 4 is 10. If you're not sure about the dominoes or you don't remember, here's a neat little reminder. 1, 2, um, here's 6, 5, 3. Well, here's another little trick that I learned. Let's say I had 2 plus 9. Well, there's actually not a 9 domino. But if I start from the bottom and say 9, 10, 11, 2 plus 9, is 11. Once again, 4 plus 7. Well, there's not a 7 domino, but if I go 7 plus 1, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 4 plus 7 is also 11. Multiplication is just fast addition, and let me show you what that means. If I have 2 times 3, that actually means I'm going to add 3 twice. I'm going to take 3 2 times. 3 plus 3 is 6, so 2 times 3 is also 6. Let's look at 4 times 7. I'm going to take 7 4 times. 1, 2, 3, 4. So 7 plus 7 is 14. 14 plus 7 is 21. 21 plus 7 is 28. So it turns out that 4 times 7 is 28. Subtraction is the opposite of addition. So once again, we could think of a domino. So if I have 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and I'm going to erase three of them. So let me get my little eraser here. 1, 2, 3. I'm left with 2. Let's look at this one. I have 7. Well, 7 isn't a domino, but I'm still going to make all those marks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And now I'm going to subtract 5. So let me get my eraser here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 7 minus 5 turns out to be 2. Division is dividing a number into parts. So let me show you this one. I have 12 and I'm dividing it by 3. So I'm going to make 12 dots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And what 12 divided by 3 means is I'm going to take these 12 dots and divide them into parts of 3. So there's a 3 in that brick. Here's another 3. Here's another 3. And here's another 3. So how many bricks do I have? Well, I have 1, 2, 3, 4. And it turns out that 12 divided by 3 
is 4. Let's look at 9. So I'm going to make my dots 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And this one I'm also dividing into 3, so I'm going to make 3 bricks, or 3 dots for a brick, 3 dots for a brick, and 3 dots for a brick. And how many bricks do I have? 1, 2, 3. 3. So it turns out that 9 divided by 3 is 3. Dividing is also the opposite of multiplication. So you can also think of it as what times 4 is 8. Well, I know that 2 times 4 is 8, so 8 divided by 4 is 2. Let's look at this one. What times 2 is 10? Well, I know that 5 times 2 is 10, so 10 divided by 2 is 5. What exactly is a remainder in division? Well, let's do what we did before. We're going to make our seven dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And since we're dividing it by four, every brick has to have four parts to it. Now, you'll notice something. I don't have four more dots, do I? This part, let me change it to a different color here. This part here is your remainder. So the answer for this one would be 1 with the remainder of 3. Let's look at the next one, 5 divided by 2. I'm going to make my 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I'm dividing in parts of 2, so here's a brick, and here's a brick. But I don't have two left, so guess what? This ends up being my remainder. I have two full bricks with the remainder of one. So why is mental math important? Well, I got this from what's called Dr. Math, and I have the link here for you. But there's a lot of reasons, but I think the biggest reason right now is when you go to a cashier and you're getting the change, you want to make sure that you get the correct change. And I realize that we rely a lot on um, the cash register, but I was just listening to someone the other day that when the electricity goes out, you have to use your brain to figure out change. So that's why it's important. So now, basically, you're just going to go out and practice, practice, practice. Thanks for sharing.